So how does Spring Boot magic work? It's no magic. Spring does not generate any code on the fly, nor does it use any XML configuration. It is all programmatic configuration, which you have done in a section earlier on. Instead of we creating a configuration, Java configuration for web.xml or dispatcher servlet or configuring Hibernate, etc. Spring already has all those configuration classes in their jar files. The people at Spring have already created them and they will be enabled based on certain conditions. So to understand that, you already know about the starter poms. When you add a starter pom, it doesn't do any magic, Spring Boot magic. They simply bring in all the jars that are required for a certain type of project, for standalone, for web, for REST, etc. But once you have these jars, these jars inside them have something called spring.factories under meta inf. These are already added by the Spring developers and these decide what should be enabled and what should be disabled, what programmatic configuration should be enabled at runtime and what should be disabled. So everything, all the configuration is inside Java classes provided by Spring marked with at configuration but conditionally. There is an annotation called at condition. If you open up the Spring source code and uh, see how the configuration or the Spring boot works, the classes they use, for example, for a substitution of web.xml, they will have a Java configuration which would be marked with at configuration and also at condition. Only if it is a web project, then enable that particular configuration. Similarly, for Hibernate JPA auto configuration, only if there are certain Hibernate related classes on the class path, only then will Spring Boot enable the Hibernate support or this particular Hibernate JPA auto configuration. So that is the magic behind the scenes, how Spring Boot works. It will look for meta enough Spring factories, which will have a list of configuration files and it will enable those configurations based on what it finds on the class path.